Hello everyone and welcome to a new Path of Titans update. Today we will be taking a closer look at the new... Uh, let's just call him Esmengold. So, what do you do with the Esmengold Diosaurus? Uh, you will ram your bolt as forehead into things until it dies. <coughs> What surprised me the most about the Asmongold Yosaurus is the fact that it doesn't have a bomb break ability. Instead, it got a heat. The heat doesn't do a lot of damage and just bounces away your enemy a little bit. That's it. It doesn't do more. Now, it absolutely can do pretty good damage with its normal basic attack. However, if you want to take down anything bigger, this is the wrong dino to play. It can take down pretty much anything on the level of Allosaurus, but anything bigger like a Rex or a Kakarodontosaurus or Giga or anything that's actually strong, uh, you will struggle even if you have a group to play with. Solo, even mid tier dinosaurs like an Allosaurus or the new Kano um, will be hard to take down solo. In a group, it will be a lot easier. But yeah, its stats are not great. Its health is not very big. Um, its speed is okay. There are three different variants. One is uh, the balanced variant, the basic one. Then there is the one I use, which is additional speed minus defense. And then there is additional attack minus defense. Uh, both the additional speed and attack are the ones that I would recommend. In general, if you would like to play this creature solo, the additional attack can allow you to actually be able to do the little more damage you would need to defeat mid-tier dinos on your own. However, additional speed is also very good if you know how to play speed-based dinos like a raptor. In terms of abilities, you have the already mentioned uh, sprint ability, considering that the damage is not very good on it, you will most likely use this ability only for running away from predators, because it will be faster than your normal sprint, or to gain on the thing you hunt down and close in. However, you probably do not want to hit when you hunt something with that ability because the yeet, the thing that repels the enemy away from you, will actually boost your enemy away from you. So you will actually help the enemy getting away from you. You will not do a lot of damage. And the only time this ability is really useful if uh, a dino is standing close to a cliff so that you can push him off the cliff and kill him before damage, otherwise it will probably have no real offensive use for this ability since yeah, it just boosts the enemy away from you later. I have a clip where I hit a smaller creature multiple times on the head with that rush and it barely does any damage. So I still I get a headshot multiplier with it multiple times in a row, but it barely does any damage. You will see that in a second. Um, so yeah, it is not a good ability. Then the normal bash, it does okay damage. It's a mid damage attack. It's good for smaller things. You can definitely win one once against something like Utah Raptors. If you play a model servers, Raptors in general, anything that is small or anything that's rather weak, like the new Kano, who's also pretty weak, or the Allosaurus, who's also not very strong, you can definitely win fights against those. However, anything better than that, you will most likely you lose unless you have a bigger group to play with. And even with bigger groups, if you try to hunt down Apex Predators, you will still get absolutely steamrolled because the damage is just in general not that good. 
Bolt's tail attack is also very weak. So yeah, in terms of offense, that's all you have. A shitty sprint ability that you can't really use to damage your enemies. A tail ability that's pretty useless. And a mediocre head bash attack that's only really good against small things. So yeah, that's all about the offensive. Uh, now we have different height types. Uh, you can use thick height. Um, I use thick height on uh, the speed uh, party here, and it slows you down a lot. And yeah, the amount of defense you get from that is also not really good. You cannot tank with it at all all uh, even tail attacks from other dinos will be able to kill you before you will be able to kill them i have also a clip of that here i try to hunt down this hornless carno with uh, by just staying behind him and just spamming attack and he will just spam his tail and his tail will out dps my head bash I have thick height on here, it's the speed one, so I have a little bit of minus defense already, however I have thick height to balance that out, so this is pretty much a pretty balanced defense build. Um, and I will still, I will do good damage, as you can see he will get very bloody, but if you just completely brute force it and go completely into offense and just spam attack your foe, you will most likely still end up losing just because um, Pachy's damage is just not good. It's, it's really bad. It's not much better than a Raptor. So you have to outmove always your enemies, so I would not really recommend putting thick height on. So you should probably always just go for a speed one, you just go for a maximum speed build. Or you go for the attack one, with the attack one I might have done enough damage to kill him here. But yeah, it's not a good dinosaur to play. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to Pach. You play the speed or the attack bonus version. With the speed version, you can go for more speed with the fin height. And with the attack version, you may can try out to get, balance it out with uh, the thick height. So keep in mind, your defense will then be the same here with my Pachy. So you might get out DPS by some dinos with just tail attack, so you still need to kinda evade um, any and all incoming attacks, even if it's just a weak tail attack. So I would recommend putting Fenheit on the attack version as well and the balanced version where you can try to get a little bit tanky with that by putting thick height on but you will be pretty slow, your damage will not be good so here I wouldn't recommend the balanced version at all uh, if you want to play it then I guess choose no special height for it or maybe go with additional speed you could try out fake height but you will be slow and you won't have any good damage so yeah considering Pachy's slow health amount I would not really recommend going with that but anyways thank you all for watching and we see us in the next video have a nice day